Here's the video for Hugelbed uh, Take 2. You can see it's doing okay. I showed some pictures at the beginning of the video uh, of the chickens in it, but I, I filled that in with the shovel. Uh, but I have a challenge here. This is a low spot, so when I watered in the bed, uh, some of the water ran out to the low spot. It makes sense, but I'm, I'm getting ready with the tractor uh, to fill in this area and slope it back toward the bed. Uh, and then we're going to uh, cover the bed with mulch. So here you can see I made a little trench, filled in the low spot, gave the chickens plenty to dig through. So that trench here should be good for the water that runs off. It'll run back. It'll sit there and pull up like a swell. And on the front part, on the south side, there's already, you can't really tell so much, but it's a little bit of a trench there. So the water doesn't run out the front. It stays under the bed. This is a little mulch that I picked up from a local farmer. And that mulch will all go on top of the bed. I got the tractor posed and ready to get the first few loads out. Must be part of my challenge keeping the goat and chickens out. But there it is with the mulch on top. That's about a cubic yard of mulch. That bed is looking nice. I don't know, don't know that much about Hugo culture, but that's a good looking pile of mulch. Is that right? Now, we get to water it in. And look! The start of my second bed.